Hey y'all, I'm back with another 12 days of DIY and this is day seven. I'm gonna show you how I created Starbucks cup embellishments. So I started with a few sheets of different size cardstock. I have some crafts cardstock that's about two and a fourth times three, although you won't end up actually having to measure that and I'll show you why and I figured it out as I was doing this. That is actually from one of the um, cup holder things that go around the Starbucks cup. I just cut it out and I'm gonna use it on one for an embellishment. And then that little, that's gonna be the lid and that's one by three and this is gonna be the actual cup and this is two and three fourths by four and a half. So obviously the size will vary depending on if you are making smaller ones or um, this is actually gonna be kind of a, a bigger size cup. And what I'm doing first and you, and <laughs> this actually was a waste of time and I'll be very honest because I, you didn't act, you, measuring the cup first is much better than measuring the sleeve of the cup, and I will go over why, but I am measuring about a half an inch, a half an inch on each side. Again, I think that was like two and a half or two and a fourth by three, I can't really remember, I showed it at the beginning, um, but I'm measuring about a half an inch on each side, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler you do not have to be this precise. I just did it because I know there are some people, I'm normally not this precise, but I know there are some people who do who do want to have the measurements. So, um, and what I did is I, I placed the ruler from the corner, the top corner down to the tick mark. And so you'll do that on each side and then you'll cut right on those lines and you should get like a nice little sleeve. I'm gonna do the same thing with this, although again, you can completely skip this step and I'm gonna show you why. But you do need to have some craft paper out um, and handy so that you can use it for your sleeve, but you can measure it if you would like, but you don't end up having to do it. So for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure about a half an inch in, and then I'm going to take the ruler, place it at the top, and draw a line to the tick mark from the corner. Same thing here, although I didn't measure. You can see I got real lazy there, and I'm going to go ahead and cut along that line. You can do it any size you want. That's going to be the base of my cup. So here is where I'm going to cut the sleeve, but you'll realize that as I place it on, it looks okay from the camera, but it's a little, you can have it, um, like, I guess, overlap from on the side, but um, I actually wanted mine to fit pretty well on there, so I decided I just needed to trim it off anyway. I didn't even have to measure it to begin with. All you need to do is adhere the, the craft paper right to the cup and cut off the excess. So all this measuring and using the pencil did not even matter because all I needed to do, like I said, was place it right on top and cut off the excess. So I've got the base of my cups there and I have um, the sleeve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right in the center of this strip and I'm going to make a small little cut, probably like a fourth of an inch in, and then I'm going to, I'm going to turn my scissors to the right and then cut off the corner. So you'll see, there I go, and then I'm gonna chop off the corner just to kind of make a little bit of a lid shape. You'll see, you'll see it starting to form. I'm gonna go on the other side and do the exact same thing. Um, I'm gonna make a little cut in the center there, probably about a fourth of the way, maybe a little less than a fourth. And then I'm gonna, and you can really do it however you want. I'm just not very good at freehanding anything and or building things, and I'm not good. I'm, definitely was not uh, meant to be like an engineer of any sort. So I um, really had to kind of practice with this. So there you see I've got my cup going and I'm gonna clean this up a little bit because I actually felt like one side was a little deeper than the other. And so again, all you do is just make cuts on each side and then turn it in to chop off the corner. And so you can clean it up as you wish or you can make it, really you could even um, just make like, a sh just the lid can be, just a little curved type of lid. It doesn't even have to be this detailed, but however you want to do it. So I'm going to continue with uh, the rest of these, and then I'm going to show you how I uh, complete the rest of the cup. So I'm going to move on to the next couple of lids, and I'm going to go ahead and cut those. This was actually the hardest part, to be honest, which probably isn't really that difficult for many people. It's just getting them straight and even on each side was a little bit more difficult. And you can see there, I didn't round any corners. All I did was just cut right into this uh, little one by three strip. And I'm gonna make that one a tag. That's why I punched a hole right in the middle, which I thought ended up being so cute. So you'll see there's a little Starbucks symbol and I actually uh, punched that straight from a sleeve from actual Starbucks. And then the other one that says crafted by hand 
and by heart or something that also was from the sleeve like I mentioned before. So I have three different red cups at this point and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, Hero Arts Unicorn ink and I'm going to take a stamp that you've seen me use before on my DIY wrapping paper and I'm going to stamp right onto the red cup and I love so much how these turned out. I'm also going to make some mini ones so stay tuned uh, towards the end of the video and you'll see how I completed, how I made smaller embellishments. Um, so for this one, I thought I may leave the back of like the base of the cup plain and just stamp, um, right on the sleeve, but I actually decided to stamp on the cup again, but I am going to use that little circle stamp from the monogram stamp set from W plus nine. And, um, I'm going to place the little embellishment that I cut out from the uh, Starbucks sleeve. I'm going to place that right on top. But I'm going to let that dry. I am going to use my bigger snowflake stamp to stamp on this last red cup. And then I'm going to place the sleeves once those dry a little bit. So first I'm going to clean off my stamps. And then, and that, if you guys are wondering what that is, it's kind of like an absorber. You, It's kind of like the chamois that um, Lawn Fawn sells, except that's not the brand I got. I don't remember where I got that one, but the first one that I, the one that I, first got when I started using those was from Walmart and it was called the absorber. That one's not the absorber brand, but it's very similar. So I'm going to stamp out, well, I thought I was going to stamp out Merry Christmas, but I realized I probably wouldn't have enough room to spell out Christmas. So I decided to do Merry and Bright and I wanted kind of a similar look to that crafted by hand and heart or whatever. I wanted a similar look to that. So I decided to go ahead and use my uh, white ink again. And I pretty much use my white ink for everything and stamp that right out. And I just, I'm using this Creative Retreat stamp set. I love the stamp set. It has a outline and um, stamps to fill in the outline. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my cups together. I'm first I'm gonna start with this one that has the little cars on it. And you'll see here, this is why you didn't have to cut the sleeves ahead of time because you can just place them right on top of the cup and cut off the excess. I'm gonna do the same for these other ones. I'm gonna place the sleeve on first and then I think that cup was a little skinnier which is why I had to use that the one that I actually originally cut the sleeve for and then um, that one was going to be my little tag and I love these for tags I love them for just inserts in your um, December daily album and I also love them for just like scrapbook pages too so I know all of you guys have pictures of your Starbucks cups from this last these last few weeks or I guess since November whenever they first came out so anyway um I absolutely loved making these and had so much fun with them and this is probably my favorite DIY to date to be honest so here's where I realized oh I don't have to cut the sleeves well I kind of realized that before but I really realized this at this point because it was so much easier just to cut the cup shape and then to um cut the sleeves right on top and again, I just cut some little rectangular shapes and then I made um, a little tick mark and then cut off the ends and then um, I was done. Or maybe I don't even, I don't even know if I measured those at all. I may have just cut them to look like a cup shape. So here's where I'm making the little sleeves. And I decided to change it up and do some blue cups because I uh, wanted to make sure I had different options. And so... Um, right now I'm typing up some journaling and I I just love that you can do anything with these like you can decorate them any way you want but I decided to use one of them for journaling and then I'm going to put that on my Christmas lights uh, spread that I've used because it says something about how we went and saw Christmas lights and got Starbucks so I'm going to make a little sleeve here and I don't really I don't have like an exact size I just kind of like roughly measured as you see I just used the pencil and marked where I needed to cut it off. And then I just made a little cup shape. I'm going to do the same for this last one. And then I'm going to go ahead and place piece all of these together. And so I'm not going to really do any stamping because I want to show you how you can just use embellishments for these. And so that one's done. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple with the journaling. Actually, I think I may add a couple little pieces of embellishments. This kit is the November Hip Kit Club, or these ephemera pieces are from that particular kit. And so I'm just going to simply add a couple little elements on top. I'm going to add the holly piece on, or the berries and holly, whatever you call it, on top of the cup there. 
And then um, I'm going to add these little pom-pom balls right on top of this other one. Actually kind of at first regretted doing that because I was like, those are a little big for those. I should have used them on the bigger cups, but then I was like, no, I thought they ended up turning out pretty cute. So, and then I'm going to let those, I'm going to set those aside and then I'm going to add something to that here in a second. To these last couple pieces I'm going to add, or to the last cup, I'm going to add a um, little snowflake embellishment. And I popped one up on foam dot and the other one I left, I just put glue. And then I'm going to add a quick little puffy sticker from our November kit. And then that's going to be all. So I have three big cups and, and three small ones of different sizes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll try it out. And here are some final photos. Have a great week. Thank you.